Congratulations, uh, both of you. Oh, question for you, Jorginho. I was writing with the game. First 30 minutes you were running through the penalty area and you had some five opportunities. What happened there? Martin, I think the last part of your question got lost. Well, I mentioned that during only 30 minutes you went five times into the penalty area for... It could have happened that he had five opportunities to create a goal. Was this the, your meaning? Uh, did you want to perform like that? Yeah, the, yes, of course, this is a response uh, by Norman. Uh, you, every game you need to have uh, more players in, in the penalty area. In the penalty area, I tried to be uh, one of the best options for my uh, teammates. Try to try to make space uh, so then I can get the ball, or try to create space so other players can receive the ball. Each game I try to do so, but during a game there can be some situations, and uh, in this game uh, with Northern Macedonia, some things happened differently than in other games. Uh, today these opportunities came up, so of course, yes, that's the reason why I came in their penalty area that much. Well, if you would uh, talk about this uh, game and when you compare it or you face the rest of the tournament, what can you tell about this game? It's a game in which they uh, try to test you and we need to uh, show how sharp we are and uh, as well as a team. It's a game like that. You do not play for the result since it's already there. Uh, you play for a lot of people, of course, but um, we try uh, to uh, focus on this game in a way that uh, we have uh, faced the first two games. Normally when you're at the club and you lose a game, then you have one week, uh, a bad feeling about that defeat. But in a tournament, things are different. You play the game very quickly afterwards, uh, another one will be there. So that's why you need to play a good game and continue and not be too sloppy. Let's go with, to the next question, Jochen. Congratulations to the both of you. I have a question uh, for you, Frank. Frank, has this game brought you some new ideas about the uh, uh, players? And if so, can you tell us which ideas or what ideas? Well, mm, not really new ideas. I think that we had some great moments during the game, but also really bad ones, especially uh, in the first half we were sloppy. Like Martin just mentioned that uh, Gini uh, came into the penalty area a lot, uh, but some other midfields also played high on the pitch. So when you lose the ball then, then you can face a counter attack, of course, that's normal. And during the second half it went much better because we saw this happening and we talked about it during half time. Uh, but uh, when you look at the combination between uh, Malen and Memphis, you could uh, see that uh, there are three players, or I have to say two, who have not played the full 90 minutes and now they did. So at the end of the day, I think uh, we can be very positive and I feel really good about it. The combination Memphis and Malen, you can be happy about them, right? Yes, uh, but I already knew this and uh, on the forehand I knew that they can uh, play together very well and uh, they have a great combination, there's a dynamic between them, but also Wout, he has done nothing wrong, so uh, he tries to uh, conquer the ball from the other opponent, uh, he also had some really some sprints during the game and as a coach I have to see and think about what do we need during the next game. So first of all we need to know who will be the opponent and after that we can think about the players who will play. Simon, next question for you, Football International, Dutch Magazine. Congratulations to both of you. For you, Frank. Well, Macedonia uh, came very close and they crossed the midfield. How can you uh, try to avoid such things against your opponents who will look for this as well? Well, there are two things. Uh, the first thing I already mentioned, uh, Gininho, who, when he plays high on the pitch, and Frankie, the other midfielder, he's also playing high on the pitch. And that you have no defense left. 
uh, when you get sloppy and you need to be focused, when the concentration is lost, yeah, you can face a counter-attack. That's uh, normal, you already know that. Uh, it happens when you uh, play like that. And during the halftime, uh, during the break, I also told this to my players. We need to improve and we need to focus more and be better. And take a look at where are the other midfielders. Can I... Um, uh, play more in an attacking way, or do I need to defend uh, when the ball possession is lost, for example? You need to look at the defense first and make sure that everything is all right. And so, yes, I think this is really important, and we need to uh, we need to work on it. You also need uh, to realize that uh, this is normal, but when you when a duel or not to uh, to lose the ball and you give everything sometimes you get a, a yellow card uh, and now there were some players who did not want to receive the the yellow card of course they would didn't want to get booed since they uh, uh, reached the next round they, they will be uh, cancelled so the players uh, might be thought about it as well and I think this was also a reason why we got a dangerous counter-attack. Jose Barroso, L'Equipe from France, go ahead. Yes, hello. hello. Uh, question to Gini. Uh, you scored twice again tonight and you ran and you caught balls and you created chances. Is there something that you, you cannot do? And uh, are you comfortable with all those duties? Thank you. I think there are a lot of things that I cannot do. A lot of players, they have their own qualities. They bring their own qualities. Some others do not have those. And I think this goes for me as well. So uh, to get back on the question, uh, if I'm happy with the things I need to do, well, I do whatever is asked for me to perform better as a player, but also to make the team better. This is what I do. So yes, I think that uh, when all the players do so, we can become a great team. So I don't uh, think that uh, if I should be happy or it's a thing like that, you should think about it in that way. But no, we need to perform the best way we can and uh, so the team will perform at its best. And I say the Dutch newspaper, next question, but the uh, mute does not work. Uh, I'm really sorry, and so we'll get back to you later. Next question for the Dutch newspaper. Ooh. Question for you, Genie. Memphis has a really good numbers. I, really, I saw you twice running by and you gave him a big hit on my shoulder as a friend. I'm really sorry I could not hear the all questions since there was a lot of noise with the journalist. I think Memphis is doing well. Sometimes other things uh, didn't work out as other games he has played before. But this is Memphis and the player who he is. He takes a lot of risks and there's a lot of risks in the, games, in the way he plays. But that's the reason why he's such a good player. So as a team, we have to um, support him and uh, so he can become only better. This where is his strength, his creativity, and he tries to uh, take advantage of this in the best way possible. Sometimes things go wrong, but many times they work out well. So, mm, yes, maybe uh, he is not playing in its best way or as you have seen, but he is still really important for the team. So, I don't think you should make this uh, bigger than it is or a big thing out of it. Uh, of course, we have to improve, work on it. Memphis also knows that he can do better, but I don't want, or we as a team do not want that he takes this as a problem or um, he does not do it because it's his strength. Uh, Frank, uh, to continue on this, uh, how important is it for you that he feels uh, well and uh, because he is the player who during the tournament uh, probably can make a difference. So when you look how, the way he plays with Malen and you compare this to the way he plays with um, Rechors, no, but I think that with uh, Val Weghorst, he also performed really well. He's another type of player. It's another, its own style, who plays more as a full striker in the center. 
of the pitch and they can change their position but you also have to know what do we need you have to know what is the opponent and sometimes you about this uh, better uh, when you consider the opponent so i also take memphis in account and about as well and so you need to decide uh, during uh, the coming week who will play i will uh, bring in the best 11 maybe this means that it's not the best player but it will be the best team and um, the player who will perform best is the player who has the most opportunity to play next question i think so i think it works now the connection uh, georgina question to you a bit more positive than uh, a little bit earlier you have been called as the perfect pair of players you have been really important as a pair of players is there some special connection between you yes there is i feel a special connection with memphis uh, i have to say that we are playing for a really long period uh, together first at psp and then uh, in the dutch team so there is a connection but also the team they have been supporting us uh, to be um, decisive and have a great production uh, uh, when you talk about goals but also uh, when it comes to assists or important passes they help us out really well and it makes it more easy to play i do not think it's only memphis and me i think there are more players who can make a difference so now it's uh, the two of us but it can be other players the first two games we had Denzel who was a really decisive and the second game there was Malen who gave the pass to uh, Memphis so this connection is uh, present with some more players as well but of course in the past we uh, had scored many goals in the, as well today a goal and then an assist so uh, it's normal that you they look at us but you have to take in account as well the uh, the whole quality as a team one more question Rike. the question is uh, for you last question okay. question Frank. congratulations 4-3-3 in the second half uh, do you think this uh, can continue did it go well well it depends uh, if i think this is necessary then we will 433 um, it doesn't really matter it depends how you fill this in now Stephen Berghuis is there on his uh, position uh, normally it could be Denzel Dumfries and on the other side uh, it stays the same with Patrick van Aan playing high on the pitch uh, we also uh, try to um, attack from the back on the pitch uh, with some uh, defensive players who can play higher on the pitch as well so it depends and it's all about how we fill the system in and how we defend but it's true that um, the strategy or the dynamics in the team they change so when you have a um, wing back player as a winger attacking player you need to go back and defend you need to, to take this into account and we already knew this but uh, we already knew that we could fill it in perfectly but we have to understand that for northern macedonia this was their third game uh, we i think are a bit more used of playing more games so the second half it became more easy i think this was normal so we uh, took advantage of it uh, with a beautiful attack so would you say this is plan b that you can uh, implement during a game or do you think it can be uh, plan a and you start a game with that oh yes of course uh, why not but it's good to know that uh, the players are ready for it um, if i talk about quincy or stephen or whoever the thing is that for a coach it's good to know thanks a lot thank you Rieke, and thanks as well everybody who being present i hope that uh, we can see you again here in seist thanks a lot good evening bye bye